Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their bed, while visions of sugar plums nestled in their heads. Mama in her kerchief and me in my cap just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there rose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his couriers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called him a name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner, on Whitson. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. So up to the housetop, the couriers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and the pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came in a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he'd flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, oh, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses and his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up in a plow, and the beard on his chin was just as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. Now he had a broad face, a little round belly, that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right old jolly elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink in his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his fingers aside his nose, giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his teams gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, <laughs> Merry Christmas, Christmas to all, and to all a good night! night.